home of the world's best burger. I find that hard to believe, but I'm excited to try it. I'm at Brooks Sandwich House here in Charlotte, North Carolina. 50 years in business, they're selling the land, they're gonna be leaving soon. Um, it's some kind of mystery around that. Will they continue somewhere else? Are they just done? My guess is they're just done. They're cashing out here. I guess I don't blame them. But if you had told me I would have had to wait like 35 minutes in line to get a burger on a Friday afternoon with their weird hours, open 10 a.m., 10 to 3, Monday through Friday, no weekends, nothing after that. It's wild. Check the signs out. Check the place out. Um, very old-fashioned, very old-school cash only. They stress that over and over and over again. If you didn't bring cash, there's an ATM. You can get your cash because God forbid they pay a transaction fee and kick the price up just a little bit on your cards to make it easy for everyone. But you know what? It's working for them. You still have a line. You, you, everyone's here. They want their burgers. They sold out of food. They She put the sign up and said, we're out of food. Sorry. Like, I don't know. Wild. So we're going to try everything. Um, by everything I mean, I got one of the famous double cheeseburgers. I got it all the way. As you see, that's with uh, mustard, onion, and their beef chili. And then I got the chili cheese fries. Because I figure this is the only time I'm ever going to come here. If they're going out of business and the rules for getting the burgers, the timing, it's all so ridiculous. This is it. This is my time. So we're doing it all. We're doing it big. Let's check out the chili cheese fries, just because I can show you easily. Ooh, the fries look delicious. The cheese looks great. The beef chili looks good. I, I gotta resist just digging into that immediately. Let's pop the burger open. Ooh, I'm getting excited again. All the, everything about this has been annoying, so I'm like, the food has to be amazing to turn my spirit around, because I will, I'm ready to just go off on this place about this is ridiculous, but this food looks ridiculous. Here's our double cheeseburger. Two patties, cheese, mustard, onions, and then on top, all that beef chili. And my Mazda logo just got dumped on. My pants just got dumped on. Okay. Um... Don't worry, we clean the horn without honking it. Go us. Let's get our stupid, stupid selfie thumbnail with these guys so everyone can see the good food before we eat it. This is a mess, this is a mess. I gotta go get my car washed after this. Okay, um, this is how I spend my Friday afternoons off of work. Hmm. I tell you what, it's a big, juicy, good, beefy burger. The toppings are great. But that's just it, right? The toppings are great. The burger itself, eh, kind of meh. See, up in where I'm from in Rochester, New York, we have all these hots places. We have a thing called the garbage plate up there, and then Everywhere has like their own garbage plate and there's all these little hot places that do burgers, hot dogs, beef, chili. So like this whole atmosphere is all over Rochester. And I usually take credit cards. And this style of burger, like this, everything about this tastes like that. And so I'm not wowed, I'm not wowed. Granny, you get a lot of burger for $10. $10, jeez. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not wowed. It's a good meal. Nobody's gonna complain about this, right? Except me. There's better. There's better to be had. There's more flavor. The burgers, it was just a hunk of meat. Just a hunk of meat. Needs more seasoning. Let's try these chili cheese fries because the fries look great. The chili, I assume, you know, this beef chili's got some good seasoning in it. 
All right, let's get just a little of that. See, now that's good. That's where the flavor's coming from, not those flavorless burger patties. But I get the appeal, especially if you work around here, live around here, this is the place to go. I, you saw the line. I, <laughs> Granted, a lot of these people had never been here. There were enough people going to that ATM that had never been here. If you've been here once, you know you need freaking cash. Now those, those hit the spot. Cheese is good, potatoes are good. I say potatoes instead of fries because, I mean, they're not like French fry shaped. I was expecting like crinkle cut fries and I saw a picture of these. I was like, oh, let's give those a shot. I mean, cheesy, potatoey, beefy, flavorful. These are good. Hmm. I, they're possibly some of the best cheese fries I've had ever because so many places find a way to screw up what should be the easiest thing to do and these guys they do easy they did it right they did it right my bottle of water otherwise it was like what could i get i was gonna do a diet sun drop yeah i drink enough of that and my car getting dirty for this, this is not worth getting my car so dirty. Mmm. Check this out. These guys put up this random apartment building here. And I guess they, they I don't know, they needed a joke or something for it. Because it's like the Cosmos, the Cosmopolitan. So they did the Cosmo with the Seinfeld font and kind of logo ish looking thing. I, I saw that, I'm thinking, they going for Seinfeld here? I don't know. I, yeah, but. I don't know, and then I saw the Festivus Court, and I was like, oh, yep, they, they are. <laughs> they sure are. I've been ripping through Seinfeld episode by episode, because I've seen a lot of them, but I hadn't seen them all. And never in order, you know, whatever was randomly on TV growing up. I'm up to season eight, and it's the season that Larry David left. And there's a noticeable drop in quality. I know he comes back for the final season. Noticeable drop in quality. But I'm thinking, I haven't come across the Festivus episode yet. I don't think. Is that part of this season? Like, one of the best, like, jokes, one of the best episodes of the series isn't a Larry David episode? I find that hard to believe. No. Huh. Maybe it's next season. Maybe I slept through it. <laughs> Lots of possibilities. So, Brooks Sandwich House, the locals are going to miss it, um, the food's pretty decent, these fries are great, but what a pain, the hours are a pain, cash only is a pain, it really only takes me about 17 minutes to get over here, so that's not bad, but, ah, uh, ah, uh, this ain't worth it, this ain't worth it, so, you know, I guess 50 years they're going to be leaving. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to miss him. <laughs> but it, but if you grew up with a place like this, I get why that's heartbreaking. I get it. So, R.I.P. Good stuff. If you're still here, if you're in Charlotte, you never been there, I mean, check them out. It's the hot thing to do. On a Friday afternoon. If you're also in Charlotte, let me know where else I need to be trying out. Um, I get recommendations over the years, and I don't always go to the places. The fact that this one's going away soon, and I wanted an adventure today to start my Thanksgiving vacation week, weekend, whatever. I uh, This was my pick. Not bad. I'm glad I tried it. Let me know if there's anywhere else I need to try. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care.